Hello and welcome back to my bathroom. That statement got really weird really fast. Hi my fam, welcome back to a new video. If there is a little bit of echo in today's video, I apologize in advance. It's because I'm in my bathroom. Clearly. I am, I think the last time I filmed a video in the bathroom for you guys was when I was pretending to be in a Vogue Beauty Secrets video, which by the way, was a video that I had so much fun filming and thank you for all the lovely comments on that. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing another unready nighttime routine kind of a video. However, I'm filming this video at around 7 p.m. It is not completely night, but I am taking my makeup off for the day, so I thought I would film this one for you. You guys know I like to switch up my products on an as and when basis. It's something that's very, very subjective if I don't like something in two tries I will throw it out and uh, if I like something it'll just stay in there and become part of my holy grail and there are a lot of products in my bathroom all the time if you haven't seen my bathroom uh, organizing video please take a look at that because it kind of gives you an insight as to how I manage and rotate between all the products that I do so let's not make this intro any longer because that is something I am very 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 guilty of in life and let's get started with taking this makeup off. Okay, so first things first, let me just give you a little bit of a close shot of my makeup. I did this about three, four hours ago. I was trying to recreate uh, one of Selena Gomez's looks and I'll show you guys how it worked out over here with a little inspo and a little photo thing. To take my makeup off, the first step is a good balm. You guys know I love Clinique's Take the Day Off Balm and my dupe of sorts for that that I've discovered that I really, really love is the Plum E Luminant Lum. Luminance. Why did I have such a difficulty saying that? The E-Luminance Balm from Plum. This is really, really nice. I love how it just kind of helps my makeup melt, literally just melt over there. I'm just gonna be transparent with you because you guys know I'm all about like just letting you know the pros and cons of things. Uh, the pros is that of course, if you have dry skin like me, you will really, really love this. If you have oily skin, this might be very balmy for you. So make sure you follow it up with a second step or follow it up with face wash or something of that sort uh, because it is very, very moisturizing, which for me and anybody else who has dry skin is absolutely amazing. This is one of my holy grail products. However, even for me, and even though I have dry skin, I don't use just this. You will see me double cleansing because I am a double cleansing ambassador, brand ambassador. Is that a thing? Just gonna go ahead and make sure the makeup is clean from my eyelids too. Of course, you can go ahead and use face wash directly after this, but I'm not gonna do that because I love double cleansing as much as I do. I am going to dive into my second step right away, yes, while the balm is on my face. Um, I've tried a few different combinations and this just, and this one just kind of works for me where I leave the balm on my face and I dive into a micellar water. I'm gonna wash my hands and show you which one I'm using today. Okay, so the balm is still on my face and I'm gonna kind of leave it there for a couple of seconds while we're speaking. I typically do tend to do this. I let the balm sit on my face for a bit just to let everything melt so that I can go in with what the step, the next step that I'm to go in with the next step that I'm about to show you. Now, micellar water is something that I love and there are so many different micellar waters that I have right here. I'm gonna show you two of my favorite ones right away. This is the Garnier one. This is the oil and um, like the oil infused micellar water, but I'm not gonna use the oil infused micellar water on top of the balm. What I'm gonna use today is this um, L'Oreal Paris micellar water. It is a three-in-one micellar water. It's something that I've been using for a while and you can see like, I'm pretty much at the end of it at the moment. Um, whenever I tend to use this particular balm on my face, I reach out for this micellar water because I think it really deep cleans um, and it's potent enough to take off any excess makeup along with the balm. Can you see this? Like, there's so much that it picks up in one simple swipe. I love that about it. There's really not much to say about how to use micellar water. It's pretty much just as simple as take it on a cotton pad. I've just ordered myself, my phone rang. I've just ordered for myself reusable cotton rounds, by the way, apart from which I also have some microfiber cloths, which are currently in the wash. So I'm gonna just figure out how I can go ahead and uh, swap cotton for all of these things. I know this is something I've told you guys before, but I'm finally at the end of my cotton ka dabba that I ordered. Uh, this was a mini so cotton um, set. 
I will link it in for you. And I'm finally at the end. This dabba is about to get over. So I am. I'm, I'm basically also saying this out loud because then I hold myself accountable. That okay, now your cottons are over. You will avoid ordering more cottons. When I'm traveling, I have to take cottons because it's obviously not possible to shuffle between like micro my micro. Why am I? Why am I? Why am I stammering so much today? Um, obviously, while traveling, it's not feasible to clean your microfiber cloths and rounds and stuff like that. So you will see me probably using cotton just while I travel. Of course, cotton is recyclable, but it's just the um, more environmentally safer thing because all of the packaging that the cotton comes in is, uh, you know, it's usually in plastic and stuff. So the minute you switch one gear, multiple gears, that ripple effect kind of happens, and uh, you help the environment. Okay, so I am done with double cleansing. If you are an OG follower of mine, subscriber of mine, who's been watching my videos for a while, you will be like, Anam, you don't use face washes. What are you about to do next? I know I said this to you guys a couple of months ago. I have gone back to using. Why am I being so clumsy today? I have gone back to using just face washes and creamy cleansers on my face. The one I'm using today is from Earth Rhythm. This is the uh, cream cleanser. It's something that I have been really liking because I think I like it a lot because the texture is really nice and creamy. But I also like it because you can turn this thing around and it. Can you see this? It has this brush at the top, which really makes like washing your face an experience. Just the scrub feel of it is really nice. So leave it at the top. That's what I tend to do, and then I kind of close the lever, and now it's all just out. And I take a little bit on this side, little bit on this side, and then that brush head is just really nice. So I don't think they call this a face wash. Um, no, they don't call it a face wash. They just call it a hydrating cream cleanser. They just call it a hydrating cream cleanser. They just call it a hydrating cream cleanser. But basically, it's a face wash. I mean, in a nutshell. But I like the fact that it's really nice and creamy and doesn't strip my skin of its moisture, which is so important to me. I am kind of going back into that zone when I'm using a lot of face washes again. There's one from Pixie that I have in my bathroom from their new Milky range that I'm really, really enjoying also. And I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it off my face with water now that I think I've really scrubbed my face well. Why am I dropping so many things today? Oh God! In true clumsy form that I am today, I have dropped a lot of water on my T-shirt. Can we all ignore that, please? Pretty please. I know it looks a little bad, but it's okay. सब के साथ होता है मुंह धोने के टाइम पे मेरे साथ भी हो गया है. Maybe this is why I stopped using face washes because they just made me feel like clumsy. I don't know. Random thoughts. Okay, on to the next step. I am gonna use a toner. The toner that I'm currently using is from Requil. When I say I'm currently using, it means I'm using this about two or three times a week. The other two or three times a week, I'm probably using something else. Yes, I am. I'm also using the Neutrogena one at the moment. Uh, but I've tried quite a few things from Requil recently, and I'm still sort of confused whether the brand calls themselves Requil or Requil. So please tell me if you know. I'm also trying their shampoo and conditioner at the moment, which you might. See on the top shelf from where you are, which are working really well for me at the moment. I've been using them for about three weeks ish, I think, maybe a little over three weeks. I'm not quite sure, but they're doing really well for me, so I am consistently using them. And um, I have just started using their SPF as well. This one is the Sheer Zinc Tinted Sunscreen with SPF 50. I have used this a few times. I did take this with me to Nasik as well, uh, just because I think that it's really nice that it's tinted, that it doesn't leave a white cast, and just really good stuff like that. Okay, next step, we're gonna apply some serum on the face. The one I'm using today is from Plum. This is their all-new Mandarin and 15% Vitamin C serum. You can totally use this in your AM or PM routines in the morning or at night or in both. Whatever works bases your convenience. Just taking a few drops and applying this on my skin. You can go ahead and layer this up with a moisturizer on top or stop right here. You guys know I'm a huge fan of layering skincare products. So the one I'm gonna be using the moisturizer I'm gonna. Be using today is this one from Laneige. I absolutely love Laneige products. Their water bank products, their moisturizers, their lip mask. I do not go to sleep without that lip mask on my lips because I have really, really dry, flaky lips. 
um, so I kind of live by it. There you go, you layer up the serum with a moisturizer which is always a great thing to do because it locks it in. Also something that you have asked me a few times on Instagram DMs is why do you do serum and then moisturizer and not moisturizer and then serum? So the answer is that you always start with thinner products and more concentrated products and then you layer it up with thicker products on your skin. So for example, toners are a lot thinner in consistency in the way they feel so they penetrate into your pores then you go with something that's a little bit more concentrated but still pretty thin serums are still very very thin in consistency very watery and then you go ahead and kind of lock everything in place with a moisturizer now I'm not going to bed at the moment right away so I'm not going to be applying my under eye cream but before I do go to bed at night I keep my under eye cream and my Laneige lip mask right next to my bed that's something I've started to do so that when I'm in so that when I'm in, that's the door, sorry. So that when I'm in the bathroom, I can stop here. And then when I'm going to sleep, that's the last thing I do before saying goodnight to Jerry. Okay, and with that, we come to the end of today's Get Unready With Me, my nighttime skincare routine. Now you guys know exactly what the updated routine is looking like. Please drink lots of water, you guys. Doesn't matter how much you take care of your skin. If you are not drinking enough water, it will not show on your skin. Pani pio, pani pio, pani pio. I keep telling you guys this. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you guys want me to make a video about next. There's also a lot of content happening on Instagram right now. So so if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, please come follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Wesam.